Here we have a 1960 Buick Invecta, four-door hardtop, uh, windows, power windows, they seem to work fine, uh, runs and drives around fairly good. Biggest thing about this car is it's rusty. Plain and simply very rusty. Doors aren't too bad, I guess. Uh, interior from a distance looks good, but I mean it needs to be completely redone. Dash is pretty good. Um, yeah, headliner is tattered. I've never had the trunk open. I did pull out the back seat and went in through that way just to see what was under there or in there. There's still some other stuff I couldn't reach and I didn't bother to open the, undo the latch or anything or get a key cut for it. What I did find in there was some uh, new old stock fender skirts. Uh, a little bit of chrome that's wrapped up that uh, I think there was two new tail lights. Um, I don't know. Be a heck of a parts car. Somebody with a lot of talent with body work could, uh, you know, definitely redo it. That's for sure. I think it's what they call the flat top roof. Uh, radio works. Power steering brakes are a little grabby, but they actually do do function. Power seats. A lot of good chrome on the car. Um, does run very nice. It's very straight. I mean. Back years ago, it would have probably been, well, it would have been a very sharp looking car and uh, somebody did a body job on it that was pretty, well, <laughs> over the top as far as how much body filler they used to make it look like a decent car, but uh, windows are all good. And uh, yeah, either a massive project or uh, you know, if you need a powertrain for an older car that's been laying around for a long time, it does run very nice. Transmission functions properly, rear end, like I say, brakes are a little grabby, but they, they do function as well. If you need some chrome, I mean, this car is, is one heck of a parts car. So, give us a call. Thanks.